Thanks for coming. Um, I mean, just a great win. I'm proud of the kids for not giving up. Um, you know, we, we got off to a really rough start defensively. Made, you know, they only gave us one error, but we had three three balls that, that cost us a few runs, and, and that really put us behind. But you know, again, I think some of the things that we've had to do this year, especially this past week, just just competing and fighting, and um, you know, we just kept showing up. We just kept trying to put guys on base. John Rice, huge huge at bat there, battling with two strikes. Loops the ball over the second baseman's head and then just uses his speed to get to second base. Break gets a huge bunt down, Rowe gets a huge hit, and then, and then Tommy after, you know, getting hit and then bringing him back, like, and be able to hit that home run. I mean, that was fun. The outfield was awesome. It was good to celebrate with him and, um, you know, told the kids, it's a great job setting the tone for the first game. It's, it's enjoy tonight and then wake up tomorrow ready to go try to win the series. It's such a pivotal bat from John Rice. I mean, he really battled and then that was a risky move yeah. trying to take second. Just yeah. kind of what was the thought process there? Um, I speed. don't have a thought process <laughs> on it. He does. But, I mean, I tell our kids all the time, man, use your athleticism and be aggressive. Like, I'm uh, never going to get mad at you for, for being aggressive and obviously the speed is his, is his biggest tool. So, um, you know, bust it out of the box, gets it over the guy's head, and, you know, I'm sure their outfielder probably wasn't expecting him to go, so he kind of probably took his time a little bit. All of a sudden, gives just John Rice that half extra step to be able to get in there, and obviously uh, it was big. But, um, you know, my heart stopped a little bit when he, when, he, when he ran, but, again, I mean, if he gets out, like, I'm not going to be mad at him. Like, that's just being aggressive, and, um, you know, we, we're going to take that. You that know? was so, all John Rice. You, you didn't that's send all, No, I did not yeah. send him. No, I did not. <laughs> but, again, we're going to let the guys be aggressive. Yeah. I like you're pitching it. Rudy got bailed out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, Rudy did okay. Uh, I thought he pitched. That, that was the best stuff that Rudy had all year. I thought, uh, you know, there's a couple situations where he left the ball over the middle of the plate, 0 2 1 2, and gave up a couple of hits um, and things like that. And uh, but again, after the third inning, he played great defense. Rudy kind of settled in, um, did a great job. Um, again, I, he's getting better and better every start. I think he's just getting more comfortable. Um, and so, again, I, I was pleased to see him pitch even be better tonight than he had the last two outings. Uh, and then Jacob Marlowe, man, he's been so big for us. I mean, he's top, I think, five in the country in whip and just goes out there and continues to keep runners off base and, and keep them out of, out of scoring and held the, held the game there and just allowed us, you know, big home run by McCabe and then Lex left on left. That was huge. Um, and then, I mean, that, that closer is close from such a stride. So, so far uh, to the first base side, and it's really hard for left-handers to hit. So for Joseph to be able to do that was, was a huge at-bat. You know, it helped. We, we saw that guy a lot last year, threw twice against us at their place, and we knew what to expect. We watched a ton of video on it. Um, and, uh, you know, again, we just we just did a lot of good things to just fight back, and I'm proud of the kids for not, not laying down and giving up. You guys were down since the bottom, bottom from the in the middle of the first right yeah. there. What was the biggest thing you think that kept you guys in the game? I mean, I just think belief. You know, we talked a lot this week about how we acted, what the thought process was in the dugout, what their thought process was in their minds, and they just had a really big belief last week against Clemson, and we said we just got to continue that. Uh, it doesn't change no matter what, what venue we're in, who we're playing. Keep that belief, keep that 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 trust in each other, um, and I think that that's what it was about. It was just about we're gonna we're gonna come back, we're gonna be able to do this. We just got to keep putting together good at bats, keep showing up, and, and, and I think good things will happen. And, and obviously they did. Coach, uh, early season defensive blunders, yeah, something you look to improve on. Yeah, I mean we just got to get better. You know, obviously again it's it, you know. You can say that a couple of them were physical mistakes, but at least one of them was just a mental mistake where it was like we had time to be able to set our feet and make a good throw and we just kind of rushed it. Um, and to me, that's not a physical mistake, that's a mental mistake because we practice it all the time. We know what kind of runners every guy is, so you know the kind of internal clock that you have to have, the footwork that you can have with each runner. Um, and we just did the, we did the wrong footwork for the wrong runner. Um, and we had plenty of time to take an extra shuffle, utilize our arm strength, and we still got him by 12 feet and we just kind of rushed it. Uh, so those kind of things, we just got to keep continue to work on obviously especially when you get young guy like at shortstop as a freshman those are the things that we just got to continue to coach and, and at the end of the day like it's our fault if, if, if they can't get the job done uh, to make sure that, that we are ingraining in them the right way to do things. And it's still early in the season and it's just Friday night but talk about what a huge weekend this is you know Georgia yeah. Southern is a top 30 RPI team for where you guys want to go this is a really important weekend. Yeah I mean we talked about it uh, ever since we got off the bus at Bethune like they hosted a regional last year. Uh, things that we want to accomplish. So that means they were the 16 national seed in the country. They returned like 80% of their guys. We went, took two out of three from them. We knew that they were going to want to come in here and get revenge. Um, we know that they're going to be a top team in the Sun Belt. So like at the end of the year, they're going to have a great record and they're going to be up there in the RPI. Uh, so we knew all those things. Um, and so you know we talked about it and we said, and again, that's why we got to go back to just continue to believe in ourselves, continue just to play our game. Uh, doesn't matter again where we're at, who we're playing. Just play the 
game that we've been playing lately, um, and good things are going to happen. But it's a huge, huge start to the weekend against a really, really good club. I mean, their Friday night guy pitched really well. I mean, you know. We, with everything that happened last year, you know, Romano hits one off his face and a tough good dude comes back in two weeks and, and ends up having a monster year and I'm sure he wanted to, to, to do well tonight and, and so they, they did, they played great, they, they did exactly what we thought they were going to do, they, they played to their strengths and uh, we were just able to find a way at the end to, 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 to get that win. Bring back Andrew Sundin, best best against the mm -hmm. first start of the season yeah. tomorrow. And, of course, those guys kind of back now that you have them back, what is it? Has yeah, I mean we're getting healthier and healthier, and uh, there's more there's more guys coming. So as well as we play, we know that they're that they you know obviously Sundin coming back on Tuesday, Vespi coming back this weekend, and now being able to stretch him out more and more every week, uh, it just makes our bullpen deeper, uh, gives us the ability to make more moves offensively. And we got dudes on the bench that might start tomorrow, but they're pinch it until they got they might have to come in and pinch it uh, late in the game. So it just makes us deeper. Uh, we just got to be able to be able to stay healthy. Yeah. 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 And we just got to be able to relax and try to get 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 the big hit, which obviously did late, but uh, we got to be able to do. We had we had a couple opportunities with runners in second base, chance to, to tie the game or, or get game get it back in the game, and just weren't able to put together quality at bat. So uh, we just need to relax, trust ourselves, and again, you see older guys like Rowe and, and Joseph in the last inning being able to take deep breaths um, and just be able to try to you know pass the baton to the next guy and trust him. Uh, we just got to be able to do that from the first pitch. Thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thank you, coming. Coach.